Hello everyone, today we will be making an image map web page. I have the final result on the screen, so as you can see, if I hover on the teacup, I'm able to click it and open a new web page. So this is the result we're trying to achieve. To do this, the first thing that you will need is to create a folder where you will be placing your code. I've already created mine. Open it inside Visual Studio Code like this. Inside of the folder, I have an index.html document with just the base template, so it's practically empty and then I also added the image in which I will be doing my image mapping in. Once you have that the next thing you will do is go to imagemap.org, go to your folder and drag the image onto this web page. Once you do that you will see that you will get a preview of the image and a few tools to use to create your image map. Down below you will see the generated HTML that we will be copying on our page. So you can use a square shape, a circle shape or you can create your own polygon shapes. For instance I'm going to use the circle shape to just create an area here. Oh, that's funny. When I selected the circle shape, I got a square, but I should have gotten a circle. So let me just try that again. So I'm selecting and then voila, there you go. I have my circle. And then in here, you will see two input fields that appear. The first one is for your link and the second one is for the title of your link. So I have my links open here already. It's just a wiki page about this character. I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm just going to type the name of my character. For the polygon, um, it's very similar, but it allows you to create your own shape. So for instance, for this teacup, I can really go ahead and draw the outline very in a very detailed manner of this teacup. I could also make it a bit bigger than the teacup and be a bit rough uh, with it. So it's really up to you uh, how you want to make it and how you want to create your shape. Um, once you're done, you can press the escape key and then you will see a second input field appear. Um, you can also edit this shape by just clicking on it again and then editing the points or the vertices of this element that you just created. So it's really very flexible and really nice to work with. I'm just going to quickly select the second link that I had prepared and just paste it here and then say something about the title. So Brooks T. Cup. Voila. And now I have two links for my image. And then over here, you will see that an image tag has been created for me with the image that I have uploaded. And then there is a map created. You will see that there are two areas which correspond to the areas that we've created. One is a circle and the other one is a polygon shape. So all of those numbers that you see are actually correspondent with all of the vertices that we've created. What you're going to do is just copy this code, go back to your Visual Studio code, onto your index.html and inside your body tag. And in there, you're just going to paste everything. I'm going to quickly preview this page. I've already have it open on my local server. I'm using the live server plugin and then I'm going to open a new tab and just go to my local host and I'm seeing the image appear. So that's very nice. And if I hover here, I can see the brook link. So if I click it, I get redirected to that page. Um, my image is not responsive and that's because Image maps are not responsive by default. So to achieve this look that I have on my actual page, I need a snippet of code that I didn't write myself. Um, you can find this on GitHub. So I will have it linked down below. And if you go down to the readme file, you will see that there are actually some instructions for you to, to follow. So the first thing is to include an image map resizer, which if you click on it, then you will get the code for this. Um, to do this, I'm just going to quickly create a JavaScript file. I'm just going to call it map resizer, resizer.min.js. And then in there, I'm just going to copy this code. On my index.html, I have to call this function. You can't really read this very well. Let me see if I can format this. You will see here that it's actually just a function that this person has written to be able to make this resizable and you have to call it in the end to make use of it. So inside of my index.html before the closing body tag I'm going to write a script tag. The first thing that I need to do is link to the map resizer file and then after that I create another script tag in which I call the function. So once you have that if you go back to your page you will see that the image didn't change and that's because we actually have not defined any sizes for this image. I'm just gonna take the very easy road and create a style tag and then in here I'm just gonna say that my image should have a width of 100%. And now if I hover over the spaces in which I've created my links to, then I can see that I can actually select them. And if I resize my image, they also resize pretty nicely. 
if I did not have this uh, tag at the end, let me just quickly put it in comments to show you. Then you would see that I have here a link for Brook and the Brook T link does not appear. This is just the first link and that's because the circle that we have created is just taking over the whole image because it's not being resized. So if I were to do this, then you will see the same issue again. Let me just quickly put it back. I will link this code down below so that you can also check it out. And I hope um, you're able to recreate this with your own project. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.